Rain barrels. They sure look cool, but are they worth it? Let's find out. To answer that question, first, it depends on what you mean by that and what your goals are. For example, if you're talking about, is it financially worth it to have rain barrels or rain storage systems, let's do a little math on that. So you would pay about $100, give or take, for that kind of a rain barrel, and it holds about 40 to 50 gallons of water, depending on how it's configured. So let's compare that to my tap water, for example. I pay about 40 cents per cubic meter of water, which is about 260 something gallons, which means I pay less than a dollar per 500 gallons of water. Of course, I do pay quarterly maintenance costs and everything, but it about ends up to, uh, yeah, in the end, about a dollar for 500 gallons of water. In Michigan, we get, eh, 30-something inches of rain a year, but in a summer we might have about 10 opportunities to really collect water over the course of the season. That means that we'll be collecting and, and distributing with that rain barrel about 400 gallons of water, best case scenario. Which means, best case scenario, we're paying maybe 50 gallons, eh, probably well over 10 times the amount that we'd be paying for our regular water. So if you're talking like about something like a thousand gallon cistern, you're going to get a better return on your investment overall. But you're still going to be paying those annual costs for setting it up and taking it down, occasionally repairing plumbing parts and parts of your irrigation system. And given the amount of rainfall that we have in Michigan in an average summer and how you might have that configured to catch water from your house, usually that's only going to be about uh, half of your house you might get the opportunity to fill and empty that maybe five times, but that would really be pressing it. One of the big problems with both rain barrels and cisterns is that when it's wet, you got tons of water, but you don't need the water in the cistern. When it's dry, you need the water, but the cistern's empty. So when it gets down to it, you really don't have too much better of a conversion rate over you would with collecting water from a rain barrel. I would guess, best case scenario, you're still talking about paying five times more uh, than you would for tap water. However, there's more to it than that. What you get from rainwater is really soft water that's great for gardening, especially for sensitive annual crops. And more importantly, it hasn't been chlorinated. You don't have to do any kind of treatment with it or let it set out like we typically do with our uh, with our tap water before we use it in our garden. And more importantly, you're taking something that would be a waste resource and you're putting it to use. Importantly, the real value with rain barrels and cisterns is how you port the overflow. Because rain barrel systems can be used to direct water to where you want it to go. And then you can store it in the best, most cost effective place of all, which is in the soil right where the plants need it. Now that gets you an excellent return on your investment because all of those gallons of water that would be lost to the rain barrel still end up going where you want them to go and get used by a system that's much more cost effective. And finally, the most important thing of all is simply that they're kind of symbolic. They show that we're taking efforts to be good humans. We're making efforts to to supplant some of our consumer activity with natural systems like rainwater. And that has an impact on people that see them too. So part of the thing that makes them worthwhile is just that they look cool. So, in the end, I would say yes, rain barrel systems are definitely worth it. Cistern systems are very cool and if you do the math on them, you might be able to make those worth it too. Rain barrels are great because they're all over the place, they're easily accessible and very affordable. Everyone should have one. But then the most important part is route that overflow from your rain barrel to your garden so the plants really get, get it and can take advantage of all the overflow. And that turns your rain barrel into more than a water collection system, it turns it into a water direction system. And that is the best way to use your rain barrels. And that is what we'll be talking about in the next video.
getting water where it needs to go and where it can do the most good.